What's up guys, it's Rogue to here and welcome back to yet another amazing video on the channel. For today I got an updated Salmon Great deck profile. I did my last profile around a month ago and I've been testing the deck non-stop since. And there's been quite a few changes to the deck which I felt warranted a new deck profile for you guys because you guys do love salads, they always do really well. And yeah, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe. Like 90% of you who watch this video are not subscribed, so please, please hit that subscribe button. And without any further ado, let's get straight into the deck profile. So starting off our main deck here, it is of course 40 cards. We are going to be starting off with Triple Soul Eating Ovi Raptor. This is the best dino in your deck. The ability to basically just rota out any other dino or Foolish Burial is insane. He's also a monster reborn. You're going to want to be seeing him as often as possible in your hand, hence why I'm playing three of him. For a two of here, I am playing double of UCT. This card is absolutely insane. Just by banishing two diners from the grave, he brings himself out. Or you can bring him out with the double evolution pill, which is the preferred way, I guess, of bringing him out. He's basically a quick effect Book of Moon by just destroying a dino or a monster, I guess. Uh, destroying a monster from your hand or field, he's a Book of Moon. And he attacks and sends things to the grave that are face down or in defense and inflicts 1,000 points of damage. Moving on for a, another two up here. We got double Petit Tyranodon. I'm playing two of him instead of one because you're going to want to basically be blowing up dinos from your hand or field as often as possible in order to really push for your, you know, for damage. This is a going second build. Yes, it can't attack, but you can also just link off whatever you bring out. You can bring out Pankatops, you can bring out a second UCT for disruption as well. If you do fail the OTK, you can always have additional backup with the Tyranodon. For another two up here, I got double baby Pterosaurus. Probably the best baby because he just brings you out any level 4 lower, which can be your Soul Eating, your Mist, your Giant Rex, and then you can use them for fodder as well. And the fact that the babies aren't once per turn either is crazy. If you have a baby in the grave and you have something you can target with the OV, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to target the baby in the grave, blow up something, and then you can get advantage from that, bring back the baby, and then blow up the baby again later on during the turn to get more advantage. So absolutely crazy cards. For the one ups here, of course we got the one Misk. Konami decided to finally hit Misk back to one. I mean, if you if you read Misk, you realize why is that one. Just quick effect, make every dino unaffected by your opponent's cards until the end of that main phase is the same. The fact that he can banish himself and give access to the level one, the brand new level one uh, dino that is available, which is a in Onomador Darkasaur is crazy as well. So just an absolutely insane card. I understand why they put this at one. For another one up here, we got one Dynares of Pankratops. Um, not only is he an insane card in most decks going second, he's also a Dino, so he has extra synergy with this deck. You can bring him out with your Petit Aranodon if you fail an OTK, and then you do have a quick effect pop. So, very, very nice. For the other one up here, we got one Giant Rex. Giant Rex is insane because when he is banished, he returns himself to the field. The fact that he returns himself basically just means he's a free body. You can link him off, use him as extra material, then banish him, and then he'll come back as, again. So it's absolutely crazy. And for the last one of, of course, it is Anamadon Darkasaur. I don't currently have it, but it will be getting a reprint most likely in the Megatons, making this entire deck very, very budget. And he is insane. Basically blows up a dino in your hand or field and adds you the double evolution pill, which helps you go for game and basically bring out your big boy dinosaurs. So that is it for the dinos. And now we're gonna move on to the hand traps here. For the hand traps, we are starting off with triple of the Cyframe Gamma. Just absolutely insane hand trap because not only does it negate, it also destroys. It can basically, when you go for a Fossil Dig and they Ash, you can chain Gamma. When you double Evo Pill and you control nothing, they can Ash and you can protect it with Gamma. Just Gamma is very, very versatile, hence why I'm playing him. He's also a non-Dino, which is important. So if you do get him in the grave, you can just banish him with your double Evo Pill. And also, you know, that's free fodder right there. Of course, we also playing the brick, which is the driver. For other hand traps, we've got triple ash. Ash is just very, very versatile hand trap here. Let me just find the third one here. We are, of course, playing three of the ash blossom. But very, very versatile hand trap. Stops most decks. Most decks, in some sort of way, can be affected by ash. So that's why we're playing three ash. For another three up here, we're actually playing triple ghost bell. And the reason I'm playing Triple Ghost Bell is because Ghost Bell, as, like Ash, is just very, very versatile. The ability to hit Nadia Servant, Invocation, Shadol Schism, um, the Tri-Brigade Revolt, it's just insane. 
because a lot of decks right now use the grave in some sort of way and Ghost Bell just says no to that. And for the last hand trap here, we're just playing double draw. Um, I was playing it at three, but I was drawing two of it and it's kind of not that good on like Ash and Bell. Yes, they're also hard ones for turns, but I feel like they're more impactful in some sort of scenarios, but also against some decks like Drytron, Droll is just an absolute blowout. So I, you can really just mess with the ratios as you feel. I'm just playing double Droll for now. You can easily bump it to three, drop Bell to two. It's really up to preference here. Um, but yeah, I just needed a hand trap that I was looking for to just, that can sort of end the turn with another hand trap, which is what Droll is here for. And then obviously once they end the turn, you try and OTK them with your dino. So that is why I'm playing Droll as well. That is it for the monsters. Now we'll move on to the spells. We've got triple Lost World. This is a no-brainer. This card is absolutely insane. When you normal or special a dino, it gives your opponent a token. As long as they control that token, they cannot target monsters you control with card effects. So it protects them from Book of Moon, from Imperm, from certain hand traps like Vela. Absolutely insane. Also, since they control the token, they can't Gamma you, they can't Imperm you because they will actually have a card face up. So that is why Lost World is very, very nice. Helps with your chain blocking as well. We are playing Triple Fossil Dig. Why wouldn't you play this card? It literally just says add a dino. Um, yeah, just a really good consistency piece. Not once per turn either. Just very, very nice card. We're playing Triple Pot of Extravagance. I know I said this was a budget build, but in my opinion, you sort of really do need to play this card. Just a free draw two is crazy. You don't really care about your extra deck that much. You play two ofs of pretty much everything. So as long as you don't banish you know, too many good things, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, you can, I believe the cheapest version of this card is an Ultra, but I'm hoping down the line it will get reprinted again, making this deck even more budget. For other spells here, we sort of mentioned it a lot before, it is the double Evo Pill. This card just lets you bring out any big dinosaur from your deck by banishing from your grave or from your hand a dino and a non-dino. So basically a hand trap and a dino or something from the extra deck and a dino. We build the deck so that we can go into the extra deck even if we don't see a hand trap and still be able to resolve this because we'll have something in the grave that isn't a dino. So very, very nice. Uh, we got one core by the grave. We got one terraforming, one harpies feather duster and one upstart. I'm playing the upstart and the terraforming again just to see the cards I wanna see hopefully more consistently. So this is a fourth copy of the field spell, so it's really good. And this is just basically just playing an extra, you know, just a draw card to help you draw, hopefully into something you need. Call by, in my opinion, is insane. If they try and, for example, DD Crow, your misc, it kind of really, really hurts. If they try and get rid of the misc in any way, via yeah, hand trap, you can always protect it with your call by. And the Harpy's Feather Duster is, since you are going, since you are a going second deck and you do come up against some back row, you can always just force it out in the beginning of the turn with Harpy's Feather Duster. So that's the end of the main deck. I will be now showing you the extra. So for the extra deck here, we are playing one Boil Sword Dragon. This does come up for stuff like Dragoon where you just need to be over it. We got the one Nightmare Unicorn and the Nightmare Phoenix. This does this deck does generate a lot of bodies sometimes, so you can play these sort of links to sort of drain your opponent of resources. We got the double Link Rebo and the double Secure Gardener. This is how basically you'll be getting a non-dino into the grave, I'll show you now with the combo. Basically, you're gonna be turning your Animadorn into a Link Rebo, and then basically replacing a Link Rebo with a Secure Gardener, since this takes one Cyverse monster, Link monster basically, so you link it off, and then you have the Link Rebo in the grave, which is a Cyverse with your Dino. So that is how you're basically gonna be resolving the double Evo pill without using a hand trap. We got double Dolka. Um, in my opinion, he is now better than the Lagger, which we also play at two. Historically, the Lagia was a lot better, but I just feel like monster negation right now is insane. The fact that Dolka isn't once per turn can, you know, disrupt twice, whereas Lagia is just, you know, once, but you know what I mean. I prefer the Dolka over the Lagia, but Lagia also does come up, for example, if they try and triple tactics you, can't really respond with Dolka, you can with Lagia. For other rank fours, just one Tornado Dragon, just, you know, for back row matchups, versatility to have him in there. Abyss Dweller, just because he's actually insane. He turns off pretty much most meta decks. Drytron, Shadals, um, Tri Brigade as well, Prank Kids. They all sort of lose to this card. So that's why I'm playing it. I'm also playing one Gagaga -Gag Cowboy. You might be saying, why are you playing Gagaga -Gag Cowboy? It's not 2016. Well, I'm playing Gagaga -Gag Cowboy because when you are in time, I know it's a scuff way to win, but you can just get two level fours under him. D3 
detach and inflict 800 and that's come up before so that is why and also if you have lost world and a token they can't actually target your gagaga so they won't be able to like chalice it imperm it veiler it so it actually is quite protected and once you get that burn off you can just end and you'll win the duel and for the last card here in the extra deck it is of course the side frame omega i feel like you should play it able to return banished cards like your misc since it's at one now returning misc with omega is just an absolute blowout in my opinion and of course you are playing gamma as well so if you do manage to resolve gamma during your turn it's just extra pluses because you'll also get gamma in the grave to be able to banish with your pill and you'll get a free omega to loop them out of cards from their hand that is it for the extra deck, I will now be showing you the two card combo. All right guys, so here is the basic two card combo you can do with this deck. It is actually very, very explosive, gets you a ton of cards in advantage and lets you push for a lot of damage and end on a lot of disruption. So this combo works going first or second. So let's start it off. You're gonna want to normal summon your Obi Raptor, activate its effect. You're gonna grab yourself a Mist. Now you're gonna send your Mist to the grave to make all your dinos basically be unaffected by your opponent's cards until the end of this main phase. You're gonna wanna banish your misc to basically summon your unadorned Archosaur here and you're gonna activate its effect and summon. You're gonna blow up your baby Sarasaurus that goes to the grave. It will search you your double evolution pill. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna wanna trigger your baby Sarasaurus since it was destroyed by a card effect and sent to the grave. It allows you to special a level four or lower from your deck which can be the giant rex. Now from here, what you can do is, you can link off your Unamadorned Archosaur into a Link Rebo, and then link off the Link Rebo into your Secure Gardener. So this is how you get a non-dino in the grave. Now what you can do from here is activate the Double Evolution Pill, banish your Giant Rex, banish your Link Rebo, bring out your UCT. Now you're gonna trigger your Giant Rex, since it was banished, it will basically just come back for free. So now from here, you can go into the battle phase, do a bunch of damage. Then the Giant Rex can't attack directly, but it still can attack over opponent's monsters. So this currently is at 2,200 attack because you do have your Banished Mist. UCT can attack everything multiple times, over can attack, and so can Secure Gardener. Then you can go into your main phase two, overlay your Giant Rex and Soul Eating, and go into a Dolka. So this does, may not look like a lot, but you've got three disruptions here just off two cards. Plus you have three or four cards, depending if you go first or second, in your hand already. So it's kind of crazy. So during your opponent's turn, you'll have two monster negates here. Remember, this isn't once per turn either. You can chain it to itself. So for example, they activate, for example, let's say they activate monster effect, you negate it, then they chain gamma, you can negate it as well. So it's not once per chain. And then your UCT will be able to book and moon everything by sending your secure gardener to the grave or if you have any other babies in your hand you can also send them if you have a petite aranadon you can activate uct you can destroy the petite aranadon and basically bring out for free you can bring out your uh, dinosaur of pancratops and then that gives you another disruption as well that's the end of the deck profile guys i hope you guys did enjoy my take on a budget going second dino deck list that i've provided with you guys today let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next and i thank you so much for watching it's time to... Let's go.